So in this video, we will see how we can call uh, API from uh, React application to Azure Functions. So here we will just uh, create a React new React app. We already have uh, one of the uh, Azure function which we'll be using. So let's clear this all out. So let's create a new React app. Uh, so whenever we create a new React app, we will be getting one of the error for the Azure function, which we are if we are calling any API, we will be getting a course error. So we'll also see how we can fix that. So we'll just create a new. Uh, react application so for that we are using npx create react app cause error fix so this is where this will take some time so let's wait for some time A few moments later so after some time uh, so let's go to the Visual Studio code and uh, try to open the file in here so let's open the react application and uh, let's do npm uh, I axios so we'll be using axios for uh, calling the API from the react application meanwhile we'll just uh, bring up the Azure portal login so we'll just log in into the Azure portal let's go to the function app which we have created so we'll just modify this function for our need let's go into this function this is a react application let's go to the Azure function so let's go in here we'll modify this uh, get user data we'll just add uh, an array which uh, we want and then we'll just deploy this piece of code let's start the react server and see how it looks meanwhile uh, we will just uh, we have just deployed the piece of code uh, in the get users data we will see whether now it got refreshed uh, like let's uh, hit the api so this is how the api response is looking currently let's remove all of this uh, boilerplate code if you haven't subscribed or liked the channel please do that now and click on the bell icon to receive the latest updates Let's import Axios. Let's create a arrow function. So we will be calling the API uh, endpoint uh, using axios.get. And we will also set the state. I set the state as uh, users data. So for now, uh, we'll just. Uh, declare it in the uh, return tag so let's uh, call that in the use effect so now if we go into the network tab when we refresh so let's make it product one and let's hit the api again so we are getting a course error to fix this course error or across course uh, cross origin error so let's uh, we need to go to the function app go to the course add the url endpoint remove that uh, forward slash and save so now let's come to the application and uh, refresh so we are still getting pending and uh, we got 200 response here 
so that the API is not failing. So now that the API will, we saw that it is the response dot data that we are getting. So we will just uh, add the uh, user data dot map and map inside an array. So and render the data as we require. So we'll just uh, write it in the h3 tag user dot uh, data dot id and uh, similarly we will write it in another p tag so it will be data dot uh, name we'll just modify data dot name so we need to enclose it within the fragments it should be under a tag so okay we are still missing the tag i feel so we need to add a react fragments on after line 23 so now we are able to render the api content thanks for watching please like and comment please subscribe